Sorry, I, I, can you repeat that? Would I be able to run advertisements on Facebook targeting Republicans in primary saying that they voted for the Green New Deal? I mean, if you're not fact-checking political advertisements, I'm just trying to understand the, the bounds here. What's fair game? I, uh, I don't know the answer to that off the top of my head. You don't know if I'll be able to do that. Um, do you see a potential problem here with a complete lack of fact-checking on political advertisements? Well, Congresswoman, I think lying is bad, and I think if you were to run an ad that had a lie, that would be bad. That's different from it being, uh, from it, from, or in our position, the right thing to do to prevent uh, your constituents or people in an election from seeing that you had lied. So you won't take down lies, or you will take down lies? I think it's just a pretty simple yes or no. Congresswoman, uh, in... I'm not talking about spin. I'm talking about actual in, Yes, in most cases, in a democracy... Okay. I believe that people should be able to see for themselves what politicians that they may or may not vote for so are you saying won't take judge them their down. character for themselves. So you won't take you may flag that it's wrong, but you won't take it down. Uh, Congresswoman, it's uh, it, it depends on the context that it shows up. Organic post ads. Okay. One different. question, one more question. In your ongoing dinner parties with far right figures, some of who advance the conspiracy theory that white supremacy is a hoax, did you discuss so-called social media bias against conservatives and do you believe there is a bias? Uh, Congresswoman, um, so I don't remember everything that was in the, sent in, in the question. That's all right, I'll move on. Can you explain why you've named the Daily Caller a publication white, uh, well-documented with ties to white supremacists as an official fact checker for Facebook? Congresswoman, sure. We actually don't appoint the independent fact checkers. They go through an independent organization called the Independent Fact Checking Network that has a rigorous standard for who they allow to, uh, to serve as a fact checker.